So speaking of topics that we don't want to talk about before you go home to your mother. Hmm. What was the first topic that we don't want to talk about before? (laughs) This is it. (laughs) So, okay. Let's talk about tattoos. Let's go home. Hey guys, welcome back to the pod. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. This time next week will be the hundredth episode, but also very exciting if things go as planned tomorrow. This stupid ass sign should be replaced. The set is getting some plastic surgery that's been well overdue. For so many months. We've had the tools. We, we've had the tools. We've just had not had the expertise. No, I would go as far as to say that, you know, sometimes we try and, do things ourselves, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, quite literally yep. and figuratively. Mm-hmm. This is not one of them. I uh, I painted this wall myself and- uh, Well, the first time. The first time. And uh, I didn't do, I, I currently am looking at streaky spots up top that I did not quite hit. Yeah. So I don't love that for us. So we're gonna do it again. <laughs> so we're gonna do it again. And by we, we mean the people that we hired, the professionals and the experts that are gonna do it for Here's us. Here's the tangent we didn't plan on speaking on, but now that we've brought this up, owning anything is just so- I have been ignoring something wrong with my brakes for at least four months now. And now you're the only one that drives that car. I know. So it's like, you don't even like get like the, I think it's easy to like, you know, like when you like don't even have to hide something that's like yeah. kind of broken. Yeah. Or also like, you know, like when you go to like any old person's house, mm-hmm. they'll just like, oh, it just, it just, just yeah, does it that. It does that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's probably not one of those things you should do that with. No, it's definitely not. But here I am. Okay. Um, I want to every single time you hear a squeaky um, break. Yeah. Think about the time your brakes don't work with moving, moose in the car. It's not that they don't work. Everything's working fine. You know, as, you know what I said? as it as it seems right now. Um, the problem is just that they are making lots of noise. So they're just working loudly. Oh. Yeah. Well, whatever you tell yourself. And if my windows are up, it's not that loud for me. So. It's a whiskey kind of night on my <laughs> end, so. I, that, that is a heavy pour. Uh, well, there's a thick, 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 bad ice cube in the middle of it that's oh, displacing. Oh yeah, there's like a snowball in it. Yeah, yeah I see that. So okay. uh, I appreciate that, um, the, the encouragement, but yeah. That's so exciting. It's a Monday night, I love that for you. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna suck. Tomorrow's gonna suck? Yes. I'm quadruple tasking tomorrow. That is so exciting. Well, you know, so speaking of the thing that's gonna have to happen here, you Uh, know, mm. I think four things that I've been trying to get into the calendar for forever, all were like, Tuesday's (laughs) great, let's do it. And I'm like, oh, great, I'll do that. Wonderful. Uh, What else do you have to double look tomorrow? I have to go to Beverly Hills for the haircut. Okay, of course, which is a necessity. Listen, Redante has been gone for for 15 days. If I don't go today- I was only semi-sarcastic. Yeah, I know, I understand. Um, someone's coming to the house to re- like wire my police um, detector into the Tesla. Oh, that, yep. that's mm-hmm. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Is that illegal to say? No, not okay. in the state of California. Okay. Now you can't do the- It's a um, police detector or a speed thing? The radar detector, yeah. Yeah, wait, wait, so what is it? It's not a jammer. No, 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 no. Oh my Jammers God. Jammers are illegal. What, so what does it do? It just basically tells me when I'm going 97 miles per hour after I hit the gas six seconds ago that there's a cop in the area. So it's a speed thing or a cop thing? It's a radar detector. It's literally going to tell me uh-huh. if there are radars in the area, so I should stop and look oh, down at how fast like I'm the going. Like the little um, radar speed guns that cops yes. hold or whatever? Yes. Oh, uh, like that I've, makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was a 16 year old new driver yeah. and like not caring about my own safety, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I drove, I think, slower than what I do now because it, it was so, it's so easy to go fast in that fucking car. Oh my God, literally. I, oh, I'm i not kidding. Baby, do you want to tell your joke that you made today? It was really good. Do you want to tell your joke? I don't remember it now. What do you mean? You tell me. Okay, so today- Also, no one likes to retell their own jokes. Yeah, that's it's your weird. story. That's weird. It's not It's not as good. Um, so Moose has been having liquid booty hole problems for the last week. Oh God. And I know, we're starting off episode 99 very strong. I know. Um, you know what, the Tillys have been here for 99 episodes and if they haven't left yet, a little story about Moose's liquid booty hole will not turn them off of the podcast. Yep. Um, so anyways, so Moose has had liquid booty hole for the last week and it's been a- That's what the doctor calls it, liquid booty hole. Liquid booty hole, yeah. Um, that's what his medication says for treatment of liquid booty hole. Of the canine. Of the canine. And I have been, um, I have been in 
mother nurse mode for the past week, like no other. I've been making chicken and rice. Our, our kitchen has never been used more than no, this past week. No. Than this past week. He's eating basically a bland chicken breast a day with like a massive scoop of rice, like a bland diet, which is like what dogs eat um, when they got upset tummies, which normally fixes things, but it has not fixed things. And so Moose has been pooping um, about every four hours on the hour. <laughs> Jeremy sleeps right through it. Interestingly, in, interestingly enough in the middle of the night, sleeps yeah. right through it. So it has a very peaceful resting night which is very convenient doesn't for- Doesn't seem to bother me. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem to bother you. But I can always tell in the morning when I wake up at you know mm -hmm. a, a time that I know is before your alarm and you're gone. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, another mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to sleep over on the couch tonight. So we're having to sleep over on the couch tonight, which I'm very excited about. Did you wanna say my joke? Um, so anyway, so I, I was dropping off a fecal sample <laughs> to the vet. <laughs> and I got mm. the car, I got the car. And Jimmy goes, Poober has arrived, Poober. <laughs> Poober. Poober has arrived. And then I rated my Poober five stars because Did it you? was, no, actually no. Cause he fucking floored it. And I got, I plastered myself with G force against the seat. Okay. Anyway, no. so the, the Poober, the Poober. I noticed no tip either. <laughs> yeah, no tip for the Poober. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the tip was my presence. Okay. Oh, yeah. well also I was like, do you want to go get and get some uh, acai bowls? Yeah. And then you were like, ooh, no, but I do want to drop off this poop sample about a mile <laughs> farther than when you want to drive. And I also want to have the poop sample in, in the, the car. same car as yeah. where the acai bowl <laughs> needs to be. Yeah, yeah, so that's, um, you know, though, I just like- That was our morning. I, I, I feel like we're watching a lot of television that that is making us think about this more, but I think the things you do for your children, mm -hmm. certainly more than I would do for myself. Oh Sometimes. my God, are you kidding? Moose has never eaten so healthy right now. Right, like, right. Yeah, hundred percent. But also you're not cooking three times a day for yourself either. Oh fuck no, are you kidding? Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. Absolutely well, not. And to be fair, if there was like a drop off for like a bland diet for a dog, uh -huh. we'd probably look into it. I just don't think it exists. I just don't think it exists, yeah. No, and, yeah. and it's it's not bad. I've just, our, I've never, I've never just made so much rice and chicken in my entire life. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of making uh, rice and chicken, uh -huh. dad got a new grill. Wow. Dad got a new grill. No yeah. grill. Yeah. Exciting things. Lauren, I, I can't wait to see how much actual grill action this barbecue is going to get. I mean, the same as the last one. So none? Okay. Uh, once, every, hmm. once every two months? I, the thing is with this, I um, there are th a few things that you want to just work in life. Uh -huh. And when you don't grill as often as I do, uh -huh. and you're forced to grill when your friends are over, okay. you want the thing to work and not almost blow up. Right. And the old one was on the teetering, like every single time anybody used it besides me, uh -huh. I mean, it made me feel better because it would just be like, holy shit, this thing is on fire at all times. Jerry said that when they made burgers, that it didn't flame up. Did you, but you noticed the last time everybody was here, there was just an in constant fire. I, I don't, I'm I'm not, I'm not in the barbecue area normally. That's that's not my well, area. Well, you were in the blast zone. I'll tell you that much, so. <laughs> Cause everyone's in the blast zone. If you're in the backyard, you are in the blast zone. Yeah, the grill's not itself supposed to be on fire. Uh -huh. um, and it always is. Okay, well, I'm excited for you. What are we gonna do with the old barbecue? Get fucking rid of it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm excited to see how much grill action this barbecue is. I feel like it's kind of, an, I feel like you've had like a couple of things on your checklist for like, like self-improvement for your new year's resolution was like, get the car, mm -hmm. car game, yeah. the barbecue, now the barbecue's mm -hmm. come. And then the gym membership. I got it. Which is here. I paid for it. But the gym, I don't think is, is quite open yet. Sure, so but that's I'm, not my fault. I, I, yeah, that's true. I've prepaid. You have? Yeah, you have. I'm, I'm in for a year. You're in for a year. And- I got 20, $800 for the fitness in my life. Coming at you. Yeah. Soon so, time. So Super there's fucking soon. that. No, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, also everything's just not available. You can't buy anything right now. Like, what do you mean? By what? Like that I've wanted to buy. So I, I wanted to buy a very specific Weber grill okay. because it makes it so incredibly hard to fuck up. You literally put a thermo, like it is connected to an app that tells you when meat is at a temperature you know and what? it tells you if, to live it. If if people if people didn't leave during the moose booty poll, it's it's leaving during it's it's leaving during the barbecue. Well, anyway, <laughs> ladies, uh, the, the Weber four thirty five. Let me tell you right now. So it really uh, gets my going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> this is turning into a sexually uh, charged podcast. We're talking about Weber grills. Uh huh. Yeah, Liquid not sponsored. Booty hole. Not yeah that. And what's next? Um, well, so what, what we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, we were watching, oh, the show, let's go circle back real quick. So Defending okay. Jacob was oh. a show that we were just watching with Chris Evans. <sighs> okay, it's a little bit, so to the, to the point where I feel like we're in like the defending our child yeah. phase of our, our, uh -huh. our, our existence. Uh -huh. Thinking about how much farther that could go, 
A liquid booty hole doesn't even seem that bad. Liquid booty hole doesn't even seem that bad. But today as I was, uh, basically they didn't tell me to bring a fecal sample. Mm. I basically was like, hey, I'll pay whatever it costs for you to test this to see if my dog is okay. You you proactively <laughs> I proactively collect, collect I, I'm not kidding. I dumped I dumped one of my own medication so I could use the bottle. I went out there with a little plastic uh, fork and <sighs> fucking did a little scoopy scoop and and then I was like, "Hey, can I come drop this off with the little it was in a baggie and it was in a bottle, so like it was fine." Um <sighs> but it wasn't their idea. Right. To you, drop off a fecal sample. You proactively were like, I think I should collect some fecal matter. Well, he's been liquid buttholing for so long. He has. And listen, as the only parent who hears the cries in the middle of the night to go mm. do a 3 a.m. poopy run. Yeah, well. It is critical to my quality of life that we get this rectified. Listen, I get it. Nobody likes a cranky Lauren. No, Nobody. I'm making so much chicken. I'm making so much rice. I'm getting up in the middle of the night for, for a poopy butt. Yeah. Okay, but to the point where we were watching this show called Defending Jacob mm -hmm. with everyone's favorite Captain America. Oh, yeah, um, big fan. Long story short, no spoiler alerts, a kid gets uh, accused of a thing, mm -hmm. a murder, mm -hmm. and the parents spend the entire season, season? season and series <clears throat> trying to defend the kid that they think is innocent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No Just, spoilers past that. No spoilers past that. No spoilers past that. However, it certainly does eliminate the fact that I'm not entirely sure that there's not a, eventually a limit where I'd go, okay, maybe you should go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I mean, Moose can do no wrong and would never do wrong. So I just don't even know where this would be applicable. Okay, so what if Moose maimed? He would never do that. Okay, but I, I, I know that, mm. you know that. Yeah. But let's say in a multiverse situation, mm -hmm. Your your pup maimed mm -hmm. several other pups. But he wouldn't do that. I know, right? but in this world he did. Okay, but um, um, so if it's a multiverse though, and is it not my pup? It is yours. It is my, oh, my yeah. pup would never do that. Okay, well, this <laughs> makes for a very short topic. <laughs> One, I've got a multi TikTok for you. Two, at the gym, some girl was like kind of looking at me and I was like, oh shit, like, is it cause like I'm hogging the 15 pound weight? Is it cause I have my shorts on inside out? Like I was like running through the options of like why she might be looking at me weird. And she leans over, takes her headphones out. And I was like, oh God, here we go. I was like, what's like, like something, something is wrong with me. Like obviously what's like- What's this bitch got to say? Hey, what's this bitch got to say? And she was like, do you have a bull terrier? And I was like, oh my God, like, yeah, I on do. On the list of a hundred things yeah, you could be. That's not that's, what I thought was coming out of your mouth. I'm not entirely sure there's a, a more exciting one. Oh my that. God, it made my whole day. It made my whole day this encounter. So do you have a bull terrier? And I was like, yeah, I, was like, I do. And she was like, Moose? And she's like, I was like, yeah, mm. Moose the bull terrier is mine. She's like, yeah, I recognize you from his Instagram. And she's like, I have a bull terrier. And like, you know, there's not that many bull terriers on Instagram. So like we follow all of them. And I was like, oh my God, show me your bull terrier. And then we sat there in the gym showing each other pictures of our bull terriers. Our bull terrier's name was Cleo and she was adorable. Mm. And it made my entire day. Okay. That's not the first time that someone has come to me and had no idea of like my career online, had zero idea. What's your and career? They, uh, truly, you tell me, literally you tell me, I don't know anymore. Okay. And it's not the first time that someone has come up to me to recognize Moose's talent mm. and presence on the internet. And I'm just, I am the, I am the- Caretaker. The humble caretaker. I yeah. am, yeah. I am the humble- the Talent management. Talent management and keeper of the booty hole. Yeah. Uh, keeper of the chicken and rice. You're um the, uh, it's not, it's the caretaker of the, of the booty hole. He's the keeper. He's you, the keeper. You, you caretake. I caretake and he's the keeper of the booty hole. You're right. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Well, I'll let that just do. from our sponsor, BetterHelp. How we care for our minds affects how we experience life. So it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. I think sometimes taking care of our mental health takes the back seat when life gets busy. I like to care for my mind by going on walks with moose, listening to a podcast I enjoy, or just chilling on the couch watching a never ending cycle of TikToks. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain. One of them being BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat-only therapy sessions, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I absolutely love this feature of BetterHelp. Being able to get the help you need virtually anywhere really makes a difference. I know for me, when my anxiety is really bad, leaving the house is the absolute last thing that I want to do. So being able to set up a phone session helps me take care of my mind right from the couch. With BetterHelp, you can be matched with an online therapist in under 48 hours plus it's more affordable than in-person therapy. 
our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash WT9. That's betterhelp.com slash WT9. I'm gonna read so so I mean for our audio listeners, it's just it's just a bull terrier. Like it, it's it's just a bull terrier. Um, but I'm gonna read aloud the caption for everyone's enjoyment. Uh, <laughs> I can't look at my dog and take him seriously. He doesn't even look real. There's absolutely no evolutionary reason he should be shaped like an egg. <laughs> Why is his nose 15x bigger than his eyes <laughs> and his big ears and stupid little tummy? He could not survive in the wild alone. <laughs> <laughs> the comments are so funny. One's like, don't be mean. <laughs> okay, but like, she's not wrong. <laughs> oh my God, no, 100% completely accurate. I mean, dogs in general, from an evolutionary perspective, mm-hmm. I don't think mankind's fucked with a, like a- A, a breed? Breed, okay. Bre- a, a species. A species? A species. More than dogs. Than dogs, 100%. There's uh, this other trend going around on TikTok right now where it's like, uh, just <laughs> it's just talking about how like the ancestors of a dog, you know, had to go and like, you know, feed off of, uh, they had to be a predator for prey uh-huh, yeah. and go and kill and find food. And then it'll be like a golden retriever wearing like jammies all tucked in with it, like a stuffy in his his child size bed, but it's actually for a dog. Dog's utility has moved from the farm uh-huh. to inside your head. Inside, inside. you mean inside of our bed? And and, and bed, but yeah. inside your head. Inside your head. I mean like the mental, like the emotional and mental support uh-huh. inside your head uh-huh. outweighs their, you know, utility in the physical world. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what I mean. Um, also, we are without producer Devin today, hence why I'm holding my own laptop and it is very sad. And we <laughs> like a pleb. we miss you, Devin, so much <laughs> as I play my own Bull Terrier video. <laughs> on air, on air play, on, air on play. repeat. I know, on repeat as it just loops over and over and over again. You know what though, I hope I'm giving her lots of, you know, I will, I, I think the most I've ever made on TikTok in a day is about $4. Okay, turn um, on. So I probably, I probably earned this girl maybe like two cents. Nope, I don't think so. Yeah, maybe not. No. Um, okay, got it. You got a lot of bull terrier content today. <gasps> oh my God, her big, a strange specimen with her germ of a dog. There's a germ. Oh, his name's Nigel. That's a, that's a funny, post. <laughs> Nigel. That's okay. A, that's a, it's like, a, it's like a, when anyone names their dog, like just like a, like a wildly human white man name is so funny to me. Like Ken, like me as Corgi Ken. Peter. Like uh, Peter, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, Oh, James. Ken's backup name, Mia was deciding, oh, Craig, was deciding between Craig and Ken. (laughs) (sighs) Versus Reese makes dogs so much cuter when their name is just like a, like a basic white man's name. I feel like all of the dog dog names we have in our head are like inanimate objects. Oh, a hundred percent. We're like, your name is Cheese Stick. Well. (laughs) But like, imagine like, there's just like, like a, like a, a a golden doodle walks in and you're like, what's up, Jeremy? (laughs) I hate that. What kind of dog do you think you'd be? Me? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> oh, this is hard. Uh, like, what kind of dog? What do, kind of dog do you think I would be? And what kind of dog do you think that you would be? You? Yeah. Um. Hmm. I know exactly what kind of dog I'd be. A poodle. No. Oh my god, that is so offensive. Also, poodles have really high IQs, and like I, I like myself. Okay, but okay. I wouldn't categorize myself as having uh, an extraordinary high IQ. <laughs> what would that be then, Lauren? Uh, what would I be? Yeah, I think I'd be an Italian greyhound. The okay. little ones, because they're very noodly. Okay, I'm noodly. Yeah, they're um, a little shaky and anxious, but also love being swaddled in blankets, okay. and they're lazy. Okay, what would I be? I'm having trouble. I can see me being a husky. Mm, no, huskies are are like high, high energy. Like husky is a working dog in the snow. You don't like doing any of those things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe um maybe a Great Dane. Okay. Because like Great Danes are pretty loafy, but also large. Okay. Mm, loafy and large. That's <laughs> what you think of me. I would say Weekend Jeremy is a Great Dane. Tell me I'm wrong. Hmm. Weekend Jeremy's a great day. Okay. And then the the five days between the weekend? Uh, maybe, maybe, hmm. Oh, uh, hmm. okay. Well, you noodle on that. <laughs> we'll hop back into a new topic. And then when, 
when it strikes you, I'm right here. <laughs> you know what? Let me look at a, 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 like a quick list of dog breeds real quick. Okay. Oh, here's just like a hundred. Okay, there's gotta be something on here that makes sense for you. No, Labradoodle, no Labrador, Great Dane. See, I really do think the Great Dane is good, boob. They have a life expectancy of like 17 seconds. Also, I love how all your ads are engagement rings. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We also have done like three podcasts now talking about engagement rings. Uh -huh. So I don't know. I don't know what Keep you think scrolling. else could possibly be. I still think Great Dane is fitting. Okay, what else? Oh, Bull Terrier is number 27. That makes me so happy. I mean, okay, like what are your, maybe you're like, you're kind of like, you're a hard worker, but I, I just feel like actually maybe you could be a Husky because Huskies have lots of fur, got lots of hair. Mm -hmm. You're a hard worker, mm -hmm. but they're just so like, I feel Mouthy. like- Mouthy. Escape artists. Escape artist. You're a Husky. Congratulations. You. Next. <laughs> so speaking of topics that we don't want to talk about before you go home to your mother. Hmm. What was the first topic that we don't want to talk about before you? <laughs> this is it. So, okay. Let's talk about tattoos. Um, I, so I feel like every person can relate with, well, most people can relate with the people with like the stress yeah. when it comes to doing a thing that they don't know if their mother and father are going to reject or accept for the first time. Uh -huh. And then it, it gets easier over time. Uh -huh. I'm not entirely sure that latter portion applies to you. No, 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 no. Gail and I had one step of movement in the right direction. As soon as I say this stuff, we're gonna walk it right back. But I made a comment because my two cousins, so my Nana just passed away and um, she obviously is from my Japanese side and my two cousins have um, our Japanese surname tattooed on them. And so when Nana passed away, I kind of always had in my head that like I would also get um, Kobayashi tattooed on me. Okay. And so I made a comment about that and my mom kind of was just like, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, did like, we just did we just, just skate right over that? Was she actively doing something that required 100% of her attention? Like she was, she was like invested in the conversation. We also weren't like heavily drinking or anything too. Right. And oh, usually that, that doesn't help that scenario. I think actually that, yeah, that, that would actually, hurt. That actually might make the scenario yeah. worse when there's alcohol involved. <laughs> You're so right. You're so right. Um, and so anyways, I'm going to get that tattooed tomorrow. Plus maybe other few others. Even tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow. So you're going to leave me alone with 19 things going on in the house. I told you. I was like, I am gone all of Tuesday. Great. I am gone all of Tuesday. So our son has liquid buddy hole yeah, and I'm I gone. So how many tattoos will that bring you up to? You're getting more than one. I, oh, I'm sorry. Are you hiding the other two behind? No, no, no. I'm, I'm counting. I don't remember how many I have. I think I have 11. Do I have 11 now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I have 11 now. So that'll bring Are you hiding the other ones? 14. Are you hiding the other ones? Uh, what do you mean other You're ones? Love, so you're getting three? I'm getting three tomorrow. Did your mom know about the other two? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to stir the pot right no, now. I just, I, I'm just trying to, okay, so you're getting the Kobe Ashley. What, what else are you getting? I'm getting, um, uh, I'm getting a, I'm excited to show my dad this one. I'm gonna call him and show him so that he can be genuinely excited because I know that he won't be able to share. He won't be able to show the amount of excitement that he wants to if I, if I show him at the same time as my mom. Okay. Um, so my dad's had the same race car forever. Um, well, he might, he might sell it, but yeah. Yeah, but it's okay if he sells it now because we'll have it on my body forever as a family. <laughs> True. Okay. <laughs> and so it is, I'm just getting a little outline of uh, his Vega right here. Uh -huh. Cute. And then um, the other one has just completely no meaning whatsoever. Um, Which one? It's uh, so on the back of my forearm. Um, so I call these cootie catchers and but oh. now that I'm now that I am getting this tattoo and I just ask everyone like, oh, do you remember those cootie catchers? I'm learning very quickly that no one else except for my elementary school called it a cootie catcher in my uh, summer camps. If you ask me what a cootie catcher is, yeah. I would say an STD. I would put that or yeah. a, a pedophile. Right. Yeah. Right. So anyway, the little fortune tellers, the origami paper fortune tellers, big fan, like so nostalgic. And I- You write like, write, I think an outcome on each one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And got so it. on the top, it's like pick a color. And then on the inside, it's got the numbers, pick a number. And then you'd already written the fortunes mm. on the inside. What's the, the same, blah, 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 blah. there's like, a, there's like a, 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 a mantra you speak while you do them. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we mine? were super cultured in Rockford though. Wait, so you oh my God, now I want to look it up. I didn't have a mantra for ours. So I feel yeah. like we had colors and you picked a color and then if they chose yellow, I'd be like, Y, E, L, that L, might be O, it. W. That could be it. That could be that. Okay, could be the well, mantra. hang on. Now I want to know. Okay, survey says. Survey says. <laughs> 
again, we don't have Devin right now to help us all the audio says, but I just, I just need everyone to listen to the audio. I was looking for the song that might go with the fortune teller. Let me turn this up all the way. I'm gonna just. This is gonna be great just, audio. Yeah, it's gonna be really good audio. What's your favorite number? Five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> okay, so maybe there's not a song. That's so nice. So where this one came from is that there's this tattoo artist on uh, TikTok and basically my whole life just revolves around TikTok. I don't know if we've maybe covered this in any other podcast, but yeah, I no, just, I, yeah, I yeah, it. it just revolves around TikTok. They've got you. Um, they, oh, China owns me. Yeah. China owns me. Yeah. And every part of everything I do, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there's this artist who um, I think was like an established graphic designer or whatever beforehand, but he like blew up on TikTok from doing these uh, tattoo uh, design ideas or whatever. So he'll like pick a category. So he'll be like tattoos for people with anxiety. And then he'll do like, um, you know, six or seven or eight or whatever, like little mini artistic tattoo ideas for people who have anxiety. Sure. And so they've blown up and he's done some really great brand deals with like Jim Shark. He did one. This one came from tattoo ideas for people who are feeling nostalgic. Okay. Who is this again? It's, it's the, the, it's not I, Iron Giant. Iron Giant, yeah. Iron Giant, which was like, I feel like, for some reason I get Iron Giant mixed up with the little toaster. Ooh, uh, both bangers, bangers of movies. Bangers, right? Bangers. And we'll, we'll hop back into people- Little toaster? No, 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 people fucking with childhood movies very oh soon. Oh my God, yeah, I we have a topic. Yeah, we got to thoughts. Um, okay, so first one is Iron Giant. Next, we've got a little Game Boy. These are so cute with the little heart. That's adorable. Did you have a Game Boy? Did I have a game? Was I born in the 90s? Yeah. I had several. You had several you Game Boys? Me? Of course. I never had a Game Boy. Really? Yeah. Why? I didn't have a gaming device till, I don't think I actually expressed any interest in having a Game Boy. Um, I had a GameCube eventually. Okay. But I wasn't, I was like a pretty sportsy kid, I feel like. I was a sportsy kid as well, but I had definitely, you know what though? Mm. When you are a single child, of a single mother mm -hmm. and she works nine to five mm. and you can't come mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. You you have a Game Boy. You have a, you, you learn to yeah. find things that take your attention. Did you play all the Pokemons? All of them. Did you beat all the Pokemons? Obviously. Sick. <laughs> Sick. Obviously. <laughs> Sick bro. Yeah. Um, a little Pokemon action. Okay. Yeah. Which I feel like, you know, is more relevant now than it ever has yeah. been. Shout out Niantic. Um, that's so cute. That's gonna be adorable. It's gonna be adorable. It's so cute. Oh, it's cute. It's, it's cute. really cute, right? Um, and so, oh, here, I'll, I'll look the place. We can show the rest of them. A ring pop, that's adorable. Love a ring pop. Love a ring pop. We actually have ring pops downstairs actively in our cupboard. They are wildly expired, but we do have some downstairs. We can throw them away whenever. Um, I forget what this is from. Yeah, not, but it's the but frogs and the yeah, bike. Yeah, the frogs and the yeah. bike. Like it, it's from something, but I can't remember yeah. exactly like what it is. Like back when cartoons be on Saturday mornings. Yeah, or a book or something. Did they, did they have Saturday morning cartoons in, in Canada? Yes, we had Saturday morning cartoons. Okay, I didn't know if it was like, you know, a Tuesday, Evening, right? Thing. We've got we've got Wednesday evening cartoons. I'm shocked at the things you do and don't have up there. We do, in fact, have Saturday morning cartoons. Okay, yeah. yeah well, I I can't remember where that frog bike is from, so please let us know. Um, yeah, in the comments below, tell us how stupid we are. Um, so anyway, this is so interesting because I I feel like and you were excited by this. So this guy basically like offers up all these ideas, and you buy like a tattoo token. So it's not an NFT. I feel like I don't want to make people upset. It's not an NFT. It literally is just like a need forty five dollar like certificate of like, hey, I'm gonna get one of your tattoo designs tattooed on me. Here's $45 for like your permission. It's all just kind of based Buy on- Buy Taylor Penton. Buy Taylor Penton. Pen Penton. Go off Taylor Penton. Come on, Taylor. No, there's something about the, I was in an airport not that long ago mm -hmm. and it was like, it was, you helped yourself to coffee, sandwich, this and that. And it was very much, it, literally was, it was in Texas. And it was like, honor system still works here. <gasps> But that was wow. great. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, like there's a few bad apples that are going to spoil the honor system. Totally. But, but like it was, it was quaint mm -hmm. to kind of be like, oh, everyone's not actively stealing from this right. thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's nice to be like, hey, if you get a tattoo of mine, why don't you pay me 45 bucks? Yeah. I know. It's great. I know. Like I'd, I'd like to think that in, as opposed to investing in the uh, team to go out and search and see, mm -hmm. who, like, I think it's, I value art, you mm -hmm. value art. Mm -hmm. We both mm -hmm. value mm -hmm. creating something mm -hmm. that makes people feel good and their attention like goes, mm, that, I want more of this, right? Mm -hmm. And it's really hard, I think sometimes to moderate that. 
Because when you find somebody who's like, as opposed to like, this is my art and every single person who wants a piece of it needs to like reach out to me custom right. Right, and right, request right, right, right. Yeah. access, yeah. which by the way, if that's the way you want to do it. And like do commissions, but, like but, there's- Right, yeah. which by yeah, the way, yeah. totally get as well. I think you should have the option mm -hmm. to like, whatever you own, you should be able to monetize or not monetize the way you want. But I love that this guy's is like, here's a category. Mm -hmm. I, I stand by this work. Yep. And if you want to do this work, here's a way you can repay me. Um, also, I think this is a really good way for him to even just get discovered because so many of these go viral. Yeah, totally. Um, Looks like it. So like tattoo ideas for people in their 20s that pretend they know what they're doing. People <laughs> with anxious mind, people who are into stranger things, people with ADHD, people that live- Oh, ADHD, let's do that. You want to see this one? Yep. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got feeling, but not dealing. Okay. <laughs> Babe, do you feel like you feel, but don't deal? Sometimes. Yeah, you feel yeah, like you sometimes. don't deal. Uh, midday appointments are your death. We've got a little skeleton in the ground with a, a tombstone that says midday appointments. If I don't have um, the Adderall on me for, they just get they just get rescheduled. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one likes a midday appointment. My ADHD is chronic, but this ass is iconic, baby. <laughs> Things that relate <laughs> to my thicky dumpy. My ADHD is chronic, but my ass is iconic. That is so good. I forgot. I feel uh, like you're not forgetful. Wash and, oh, wash and weep. Yeah. Okay, daydreams, mm. that's good, that's cute. I missed the first one, I went too fast. I used to daydream a lot more before I was medicated. Mm. Yeah. Be my obsession. Oh, oh, that's cute. Baby, am I your obsession? You are. That's so nice. Well, you and Moose, it's a package deal. That's so nice. <laughs> I, was, I was talking to my birth father not that long ago and he was explaining to me, well, he told me that my one of my siblings uh -huh is ADHD, like very mm -hmm. much so. It was like just starting the medication. And oddly enough, despite my bitching and moaning that my mother should have been a lot more receptive to that, I was almost sad when I heard that. Really? Yeah. Because it, well, I mean, I, I guess the thing is that it, it limits, it limits some element of how your mind works, which yeah. has pros and cons. I miss the creative version of myself. Right. And now I, I am, not, I don't struggle with the things that like, I think society deems as easily monetizable, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I'm not a creative individual anymore. Right. Which I used to be. You wanna, you wanna have paint night? Ooh, you wanna have that's uh, paint not, and wine night? That's not the creative I was. Babe, um, I love paint and wine night. Yeah. You wanna um, do some clay? I did some polymer clay today and I baked, I made a little- You know, I don't uh, that bad. Let's <laughs> I made a little jewel. Literally, I was I was um, boiling uh, chicken, and I also had a little polymer clay um, jewelry tray that I had I had handmade that was mm -hmm. baking in the oven because that's how you get it to harden and keep its form. Right. And so I was like, I've got a clay jewelry tray in the oven, and I've got chicken on the stove for my sick dog. I was like, Did I buy a kitchen for myself? Like, I don't think I did. Or right, no, I bought a kitchen for myself with the intention of not doing anything that was useful for humans. So there's this new tattoo place in LA <laughs> and it's called ephemeral tattoo and it's so interesting. So basically they're tattoos that like kind of just dissolve after- Should I go get a sleeve? Let's fucking go. How much, I'd be so upset you'd also excited if you, I came home with a sleeve and you'd be like, that's the hottest thing ever. Are you kidding? But then I'd be so sad. You're like, oh, it's temporary. But babe, you with a sleeve would be the hottest thing ever. I feel like I'd do like a little more punk, but yeah. What? Would you be, like be interested in me if I was in a suit, but then like when I took my suit off, I was just covered in tattoos? Yes. Got it. What do you mean? Got it. The answer is always yes. Cool. Got to it. this. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> do you want to design my sleeve? Uh, I mean, I'd be down. Okay. All right. Wow, this is so <laughs> for, fun. For episode um, 1000, I'll go get covered in temporary tattoos and the ones that I like, I'll keep. Episode 1000. Yeah. Hmm. That's not that far. If we started doing little mini episodes, if we broke down every episode Just, into like 10 episodes. Yeah, sure. And then we could get there a little quicker. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fun. Got it. So there's a femoral place. They do tattoos that dissolve within, uh, I think about a year. A year? Holy shit. All right, I take it back. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how long did you think they were going to last? Like every other temporary tat like, tattoo ever. You the sticker on and then like, you know, you take oh, a no, no, shower, no. it's this done. Is, this is like a medium, I guess it'd be like a, a medium length tattoo. Yeah, but then There's all, just been like no in between before. You know what I mean? Like it's either been like- your tattoos are constantly fading. What? Your tattoos are just constantly fading. Yeah, which is weird. So I have a friend who's who's yeah. gotten a few um, and they're like 
four, five months in, they still look really good, but I'm curious to see what they look like when they're like at the end of their lifespan. Because there's never been like an in-between. There's been like the sticker kind that, you know, sometimes have actually lasted more, longer than you want them to because right. they just don't scrub off like sometimes. Henna tattoos, they're like, it's been three weeks. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, it's time yeah, to go. This is a bad tattoo to begin it's with and it's still a bad time tattoo. time to go, yeah. And uh, I actually had an ex-boyfriend who we went to uh, a party and did a ton of temporary tattoos. Um, he worked a construction job. So like it was fine the next day. It was, like, it was like a summer job. He was working a construction job in the summer. And the next morning we spent a lot of time being super unsuccessful trying to get those temporary tattoos off. And like we covered, covered him. And they were like the temporary tattoos that are done in like traditional style. So it was like hearts and anchors and doves and roses mm. and what, you know what I mean? Like it was all like those Mom. styles. Yeah, mom in in exactly with like uh, like thorns and the barbed wire and stuff. And so he got ah. absolutely roasted the next day because we could not get them off. They stayed on for a very long time. But the hack, which I did not learn until much later in life is baby oil. Okay. That's how you get a temporary tattoo off is baby oil. Well, when you go home this month and your mom's got baby oil ready, ready to scrub. To go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think you look hot with tattoos. I love tattoos. I think they're I think so fun. Great. I think they're great. I think you should get as many as you want. I'm going to keep doing that. Great. Yeah. Next. <laughs> I, um, so ugh, I hate that I'm literally saying this. I hate this so much. I had to buy Crocs for a video. I'm doing this video where it's, um, it's like, this is kind of becoming a series where I try products from brands that have sponsored my YouTube friends. And so the Try Guys got this big Crocs brand deal and they were, cause I think like regular Crocs probably have sold literal billions of their product. They don't quite need the promo, but right. they have slides now. And like, like they're bored. Like yeah, they're, they're, everything's yeah, selling. Like, ugh, we're so bored. What can we market? Because we're so bored with making, just crushing right. in sales. Yeah. So they have these slides and they were doing uh, sponsored video content for these slides. And so I was like, oh, this is perfect. And so I went online, went to go buy the slides. Cause like, that's like the whole like shtick of the video. And I realized that they've got fuzzy slides. Right. And I brought them because they're, they're, they're my favorite things. I accidentally ended up with two pairs and I'm keeping both because they're so much fun. I, I see three downstairs, downstairs actually currently. Of the fuzzy ones, just two. Okay, got it. Just two. Mm. Um, you might be seeing them just like all over the house because I continue to wear them and leave them other right. places. So it might feel like three, but it's only two. Yeah, the and sexual tension's at an all time high in this house. <laughs> an all time high. Between Moose's poopy butthole and Jeremy's love for his new grill, my Crocs, it's just like the sparks are flying. <sighs> no comment, keep going. <laughs> um, and so they're absolutely hideous. Like they are truly atrocious to the eye. And I will never be on board with the fact that they're fashionable. Unfuckable. They're just, I, I hate the way they look. The fuzzy ones, wildly comfortable. And this is not even kind of like the point of this conversation. The point is they have these things called gibbets and gibbets are the stupid little charms that go on the stupid little holes of the stupid little Crocs. And they're, they're charms, they're literally charms. And like, I know, I just know that someone at Crocs who works there is a millennial who had one of those charm bracelets, the Italian, silver charm bracelets that had the links that you replace with a link that's got like a little a little thing those on were, it. Those were our, our arm hair removers. Arm hair removers. And they were in the most iconic things. There was one specific store like at my local mall that sold them. And like, it was a mm. treat when I got to replace and like get one of the charms for my bracelet. And like, you learned how to like unlink them and hook the new one in. And I just fucking know, I know that someone, whoever came up with this at Crocs had one of those bracelets because this is the modern day version of those charm bracelets is the stupid gibbets because now I got the gummy bear pack of the gibbets and I'm like, well, fuck, I need something to be complimentary with the gummy bear gibbets. I'm gonna get them so you can see them. Um, oh, good, we we brought, oh. They're here. Um, oh. We wanna get a tight shot of those with the fuzzies. You can see the fuzzies. They look like pillow slides, but obviously uglier um, and fuzzier, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I got a gibbet that said today is canceled, which is really cute and pink and green. I've got the gummy bear pack of gibbets. What does this cost? The gibbets? Yeah. Expensive, like How much? offensively expensive. Like one is like $5 and the packs are like between 20 and 40, depending. Cause they've done a ton of licensing deals with like Marvel, Disney, whatever, like all of the big brands. Yep. So and that's what you're spending your money now on. Now I'm being bamboozled into getting all these stupid packs of gibbets because now I've got open stupid holes for stupid gibbets to go in and I can't leave the stupid hole empty. So I have to get stupid more stupid gibbets. That's what I'm spending all my money on. So okay. the, the ad reads in this video, just know that they're fueling my next gibbet purchase. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah. We do have some legitimate like costs in our life. Expenses? Yeah, yeah. my gibbets. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I, I will say that um, there's some things that I feel like yeah. we'll always be able to break through. Mm-hmm. Like I think millennials will age actually quite well because we love stuff. We love stuff. Like, you know, like minimalists sometimes just like, just yeah. like they just they disappear in the distance. Yeah. Millennials are not minimalists. No. We no, love no. our things. I would say like some Gen Z, you know what I mean? They like Gen Z, some of them are like minimalists, but also some Gen Z are literally have like coined the term maximalist. Right. Yeah. Oh, I love stuff. Yeah, I love stuff. But also I'm not like precious with that stuff. Uh, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. No, you, you definitely are. Yeah. I'm ready to get rid of things and you're like, but what should we do with this? I'm like, well, we have a new one. You know how many times, literally today, I was looking for this, and I don't know why I would have thrown this out, but I was looking for my clay, like little rolling pin or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and I couldn't find it. And I was like, this is why you don't get rid of it. This is why you don't purge your craft supplies because then you lose shit that you should have kept. And no, I had to buy another one. And in 36 hours, it'll be here. And no, I bought one from the actual store today. Oh God, it's so wild. it's already here. It's already here. The point yeah. is, I just think that like, we'll, we will continue to re, there's a very large like fighter plane going over our house apparently right now. <laughs> our whole house is shaking. We will continue to re, re, like relive repackaged mm-hmm. ideas for us until we all die. Oh my God, for anything with sure. a charm on it, anything with customizable charms, yeah. fucking count me in. Also, I would like to think that like if an alien invasion happened yeah. and we all had to freeze all the things, uh-huh. I think that millennials would be some of the worst to be with because we want to bring all our shit with us. Oh my God, are you kidding? Yeah. yeah. Whereas like Gen Z and below, like I have my phone. So like, what else do I need? What else do I need? And it, like yeah. older than us is like, we read maps and understand, you know, how that shit works. Mm-hmm. I think we're actually like the the prime fucked category. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, there's just been so much travel drama right now with like suitcases and stuff, just mm. like, getting lost, taking forever, getting stuck because um, airports are obviously just like understaffed right now. Um, and so I'm going back to Canada, hopefully next month. I mean, it's booked. It's booked, but hopefully Bubby's is better by then, et cetera, all the things. Um, oh, if Bubby's is not better, you're still going. I'm just taking him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but so if Bubby's is not going, I'm thinking about the possibility of just checking a bag, or sorry, not checking a bag, just doing uh, a carry-on. You? I know, literally, I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. But <laughs> if we're going up to the cottage, like I really only, but see, even at the cottage, I bring like 19 bathing suits because you never know. You never know. But also your bathing suits are the size so, of Kleenex. So tiny, they're so tiny, right? So it's like, I should be able to do this. Yeah, you're fine. But regardless, everything, it'll be fine. Moose will be fine by then, it'll be fine. Yeah. How yeah. long are you going for, 10 days? You you think that I could do a 10 day trip with a carry on? I, I'm asking, how long are you going for? Seven. Got it, okay. Seven, seven. Got it. Honestly, it's not even the clothes. It's more like the issue with like having a ton of hair products and makeup and stuff. Uh, I feel you. But if I have Canadian versions of all of that, then I could get away with this. I get it. I could still bring 19 bathing suits because they are the size of Kleenex. I want to talk about Winnie the Pooh horror. Go ahead. Isn't that fucking unreasonable? <laughs> so did you watch Winnie the Pooh as a kid? Um. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, Which so I, I was a big, big Tigger guy. Okay. Big Tigger guy. And it's it's disturbing to me that a thing called uh, public domain happens. And Is I, that how this happened? Look up the year <gasps> that Christopher Robbins no. was released into the world. <gasps> public domain, Christopher I, And Robbins. by the way, I, I, I made this up, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. Oh my God. Oh my God, January 8th, 2022. Wow, they turned that around quick. Here's well, what they, that means I mean, they were fans. doing production beforehand. <laughs> so, Little thing, in, at least in America. So in public domain, after I think it's 76 years um, and some change, depending on like how long like the actual lifestyle or the life person, like the person that owns it lives, right? Uh-huh. But I think it's usually 76 years. Uh, a thing um, called public domain happens, which means anybody can grab any piece of IP, intellectual property and do whatever the fuck they want with it. So all of the stories that were made in what was the 20s now? Uh, the, uh, 1926 from the Pooniverse. Right. Pooniverse? <laughs> for the for the poon the pooverse. So that Do you not want to say the word poon? Poon the poon pooniverse. Uh, I mean I'm out of it. Pooniverse? Okay. Pooniverse. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but like you can bet your ass that Mickey Mouse is coming soon. Mickey Mouse is coming soon soon, right? Yeah, so all of the most iconic IP in the world mm. will be able to be like sliced and diced in the weirdest of ways, legally and monetizable for the rest of our lives. 
Because of this exact rule. Oh my God. The Great Gatsby novel entered the public domain a year ago, inspired sequels and planned animation as well as The Gay Gatsby and The Great Gatsby Undead. Yep. <sighs> yep. Oh my God. Well, it's like, can you imagine like in, in you know 80 years, people are like making like whore DIY. Oh my God. Let's fucking go. Whore DIY. But you don't, you don't make any money on that. Oh, okay. Hate that though. Yeah. Hate that then. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah that's yeah. the point. You can use this for whatever. So there's a Winnie the Pooh horror story coming out, which obviously every- Wait. Oh my God. Ryan Reynolds delivered perhaps the first prominent spoof of public domain Pooh when he appeared in a video uh, posted in January to YouTube to promote his mobile service company by reading from a new book called Winnie the Screwed. Yep. Ah. Huh. Yeah. No, no, like nothing's off limits. Nothing. Oh my God. Wait, I wonder if there's, um, I want to see photos of how scary this is. Yeah. I mean, listen, everyone's going to go see it because it's so obscure. But also it's tied to everyone's childhood between oh the ages. Oh my God. It's called blood and honey. Shut the fuck up. Blood and- <gasps> It's disgusting. Is, is, is Tigger in there? Oh my God. This ain't no bedtime story. <laughs> Do -be -do -do. Live action horror film, gore filled retelling of the classic story. Underneath this piglet brandishing a knife, sitting above a corpse in the forest. Oh no. I've always been a really big um, Eeyore fan. I can see that. Yeah. Love what's, the, Eeyore. what's the quote? That's Moose. That, that, the, oh, way that's that, moose yeah. the way that Eeyore sits is literally just how Moose sits. And I just see so many similarities. Like, I think characters like Eeyore were just prepping me to have a dog that sits on their bum like Moose. I think characters like Eeyore are underappreciated for like, they're not the standout favorite, yeah. but the thing that people who didn't resonate with the mains are able to like feel like, see comfort in. Oh, I was totally, and you, I did like Piglet. Piglet was really cute. Is it how like painfully just like on the nose it is that I love to tick her? That's actually surprising. What do you mean? Cause I, I feel like if someone had a Tigger personality now, you'd want to punch them in the head. Yeah, but like, did you ever meet me with, like, without Adderall? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You're pretty punchable <laughs> when you're not around her. Okay. Right. <laughs> but like, I think of you being in the same room as someone with that much high energy bouncing off the walls. And that's not typically the person you would gravitate towards. Not anymore. Yeah. No, cause I'm tired now. Right, you're tired. Yeah, I'm just tired. I told you, great day and energy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with a life expectancy of 13 years. Loafy. And See, that doesn't world. line up though, because you got cockroach energy. Yeah. That okay. doesn't quite line well, up. Well, yeah. Okay. The point is, um, I'm not thrilled about this and I'd like everyone to point out. But we'll I didn't go see even it. Absolutely. realize that the character under Blood and Honey is Piglet. Like I didn't even realize that that was a pig. Like I thought that, I just didn't even think about it. I thought it was just like a man in a mask, but that's, that's Piglet You're holding right, that's a knife. Piglet. I didn't even I realize. Could, you have Piglet tendencies. I do have Piglet tendencies for sure. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of going to jail, uh -huh. how would you do? In jail? Yeah. Oh, fucking, I would. I would have to, I would have to befriend. I'd have to strategically befriend people to survive in jail. And by the way, I think it's a great strategy for yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. How do you think I would do in jail? I think you, I think you would end up running the business, uh, running the biggest, whatever business of moving, whatever product needed to be moved. Supply chain. Supply chain. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I would have a couple, I would have a couple tough years, mm -hmm. but then I, I think I'd figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'd have to, I think you'd have to, learn how to check your ego in the, for the, for the sake of not dying sometimes? Well, I think I would either figure it out or I would figure it out. Um, uh, I wouldn't figure it out at all because my turn ended. Right, you'd be dead. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Mm -hmm. Cut short. Mm -hmm. No, I think, mm -hmm. um, I think I'm, a, I'm, I'm enigmatic mm -hmm. enough to, yeah. well, I, I think I'm a sponge enough mm -hmm. to be able to just like, okay, they're in charge. Cool. That's the rules. Mm -hmm. I also, I think I'm pretty good. Like, um, like assessing like, okay, got it. They're in charge here. Mm -hmm. We're, let's listen to that person. Mm -hmm. But then don't, don't take shit from this fucker. Mm -hmm. I don't think that would be something that you'd excel at. I would just, I would, I mean, I would not even, I would not even strive to take a, a, a like a, a commanding role. If you were to be arrested part. for something that would actually land you in jail, what do you think it would be? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be something stupid that I didn't realize was- Was illegal. Was illegal, yeah. 100% what it would be. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. I think also too, like as a Canadian visa holder, mm -hmm. like I'm someone who would never even think about trying to like 
skirt by a law or something like that. Once again, you'd have to know the law existed in the first place. Right. You know, isn't that kind of a weird concept though? We don't ever get like told all the laws. <laughs> no, not at all. Like we <laughs> all just kind of like law. abide, like, hey, like could be a good reasonable person. No, but then also everything is different state by state. Like even you being like, oh, the radar gun situation, like you're allowed to do da 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 in California, but like with this, you can't do in California. Like no one can keep oh. up with that. All, a lot of the lawyers, well, my lawyers in London and mm -hmm. a lot of the lawyers that I work with on the corporate side are all in London. And I've said many times like, oh yeah, but if you can do London, you can do America. And they're like, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. These states. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's goes, like mini countries. And they're right. Like the difference between Arkansas law and California law yeah. is very fucking different. I'm Texas like, law versus California true. law, I, like, very I a, different. I have like a general running order in my head as to what they are, but like, mm -hmm. I don't really know. Like I, I like know in business, what you can't do right. federally, but like, and like I know California, but beyond that, I don't know. Wild, wild west out there. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I um, I would, I would, I would do everything I can to keep you out of jail. That's for sure. I also would like to be kept out of jail. Yeah. Um, something else again. So equally as disturbing, but in a different sense. Um, did you watch the way one on one? I feel like probably not. So way one on one. Yeah. I didn't catch that. You I had a some, friend in it. I think you have some just like some some major cultural holes in your millennial some childhood. Gaps. Some gaps. Okay. Zoe 101 is one of them. So anyways, there is- Let me pull up the thumbnail while you talk to me. On Zoe 101? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's so funny is that I uh, saw a picture from like when they were filming or like just like a, a, a scene. And in my mind, like when I watched it, they looked like, you know, old teenagers. They right. looked like, you know, like 18. Now when I look at photos from the show, I'm like, oh, these are children. These are literal children. These are children. These are children. These are children. Yep. And so anyway, so Zoe, who is Jamie Lynn Spears, the main character. Um, the, oh, had no idea. Okay. Oh yeah, Jamie Lynn Spears. Yeah, that's why it was like also so iconic is that it was Britney Spears' younger sister, Zoe 101. Um, they, she had a younger brother named Dustin. And Dustin, again, like you can see in the photos, is a literal child on the show. That's a child. I'm, yeah, I'm looking. And so he recently has joined TikTok. Oh, Victoria Justice was on that. Yes. Got it. Yes, 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 yes. So it breeds stars. Uh, yeah, obviously. Okay. Actually, I actually don't know if anyone else from Zoe 101 really popped off. I think one of the guys had like a few other roles on Disney Channel stuff, but anyway, so Zoe 101's younger brother, Dustin, uh -huh. has recently joined TikTok. Okay. And I, like my whole life just, I saw TikTok. Oh, I was confusing this with iCarly. Oh, no. Okay. No, 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 no. We're not iCarlying. Same thing. Go on. Uh, it's not, but okay. <laughs> so fucking Zoe 101's little, little brother from the show, Dustin, posts these insane thirst trap TikToks. He's obviously now an adult of legal. What's his name? Uh, oh God, what's his real name? His name is Dustin on the show. Uh, oh, Paul Butcher. Got it. And Paul he's like- Butcher. Into BDSM. Thirst, oh God damn it. Oh babe, I picked one out for you, don't worry. Okay. And I'm so sad that we can't get the full experience because it's got Desperado by Rihanna playing to it. Um, but- Well, go ahead. It really is just crushing childhoods everywhere because he's even wearing the PCA sweater, which is Pacific Coast Academy, the school that Zoe went to. And so it's just really taking every millennial's childhood and I don't even know how to describe it. It's so bad. Anyway, he's into BDSM and it's very scary and he's a child and now it's, it's, it's very, it's all very confusing. Um, but, and he looks the same too. That's like the, Dustin is his only personality trait. Pack it up. I can only see him as a child. He'll forever be 10, and, 10 years old in my head. Oh God. And then he turns a belt into handcuffs and now his shirt is open. Oh my God. Oh, and there's red lights. Oh You hated my, that, right? That, yeah. Like that was, that was tough. And so many of his other TikToks are like, he loves a, he loves a good set of handcuffs. Um, it's a recurring theme in all of his content. God, if there's one thing I don't want you to do, it's fucking handcuff me. Seriously. I think it's just weird because he looks the exact same. Like well, he's obviously, got a baby face for sure. Obviously he is much older, but he looks the exact same. And so it, like everything just but, adds up to it feeling- God, his teeth, Jesus. Weird, I know, right? Oh God, oh my God. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah, it, well, it, listen, it's, it's not for us. It's not for us. But I'm glad for you know what, somebody though? out there. I'm sure someone- had a mini crush on Dustin, you know, like someone, someone who was watching. Well, how old is he in compared to us? 
Uh, I'm scared to look, honestly. <laughs> like, he, was he the little brother to us as well? He was the little brother. Yeah, yeah. He would have been our little. So he's younger than us for sure. Got it. Unless he was just small. Yeah, but you're like very old, Lauren. You're you're getting to the- Oh trip. my God, he's 28. He's 1994. Dear oh. God. Well, there's that. Dear God. Yeah, there's that. Oh my God, the cast is now 30, 32. Oh, Jay Monster's only 31. For some reason, I thought she was older than that. She's 31? Yeah, I thought she had a lot. Did Let's get her on the pod. <laughs> Jane. We definitely could. Probably. We we definitely Jamie, could. if you're listening. Yeah, we have the connect for sure. We do? Yeah. We do. We do. Let's get Jamie on. <laughs> Let's talk about this thing. Oh my God, he's 28. All oh, that makes it, I don't actually don't know if that makes it, I don't know. I feel, I feel weird about the whole thing. Our favorite fucking show right now. Oh my God. It's the most important thing that we have to talk about. I'm so sorry we waited until right now to talk about <sighs> it. First off, I think that this man if I were on my dying deathbed, uh -huh. I would insert him in oh in, my God. in place of me. I, I didn't know where that was going with word insert. Go let's, ahead. Okay, let's <laughs> dial it back. I would insert him in place of me and say, take good care as I'm dr drifting off into to, to, to death. It would make your passing a little bit easier. Taron Egerton. Is so hot. Yeah, no, it's- Oh my God. You used to put him on the second tier though. No, that's not true. I've always liked him. I always thought that he was really cute as Eggy yeah. in, in Kingsman. Kingsman. I will say him as Elton John was not for me personally. Well, that's a, okay. <laughs> I, I think he was going after a different breed of- um, But uh, like that type of guy is, is has always been really cute to me. Like Peter Malark in-, um, in uh, Oh. Um, no, no, but Taron is a way hotter version of Peter Malark. Like Peter Malark is cute. Taron Egerton is hot. You know, me and that guy have some we unfinished business. Uh, why would you even have business with him? He's so short. He's so tiny. We shared an ex-girlfriend. Oh, we're gonna talk about this after the podcast. You know this. Oh, I don't think I do. He's from Kentucky. Oh, he's from Kentucky? Yep. Oh, I don't think I know this at all. Northern Kentucky. Northern Kentucky. I think it's Covington. I was just thinking about how I don't know where my Kentucky sweater went. I'm really sad about I, it. I didn't take it. Hey, point is, so he's in, his, in this new uh, show called Blackbird. Uh -huh. It's on- Apple Plus. Apple, yeah, whatever. Uh, I think he's the full fucking package. He is the full package. Yeah. Like, you know, I've always been Zac Efron gay. Yeah. I think I'm gonna add Eggie. Zac Efron, I, I prefer, I, I would take Teron. I would take Teron. Teron. I would take Eggie over Zac Efron 100%. Okay, let's not get crazy. Cause Zac is almost like too pretty. I think Zac is almost too pretty. And Eggie is, is just like hotter. These also, aren't, these aren't insults. I get it. Eggie is huge. Like he is, I will Big say boy. tattoos, well, tattoos would make him hotter. But he might have him though. We don't know. Do, oh my God. I don't think he does. You don't think, I, I, I feel think like he, he wouldn't either. Anyway, I just, there's somebody about a British guy who nails the American accent and is able to just, he he's able to play a guy who gets thrown in jail with swag mm -hmm. and intelligence and humor. What? Oh my God. No, no, just kidding. It's someone who looks like, um, Looks like him. Your face? I wanted to put your face back into your face. <laughs> I thought I thought he was entirely covered, but it wasn't it wasn't him. That's weird, because who's that guy that you just made that face at? I would like to I actually don't know who this was. Let me find it. And the point is, um, there's a show about a guy who has to get, you know, put in jail and basically bargains for his freedom based off of what information he can get out of. And tell me right now that, that doesn't look like Taron Egerton, especially from far uh, from away. From right ninety seven feet yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, and it reminds me of what I would hope I would be able to like talk myself into if I was forced into prison. Yeah, yeah. Lauren, I'm over here. <laughs> I'm just- I was trying to figure out who this guy was. No, yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, it's weird, like I'm just, I'm gonna save a couple of these for later. Um, would it's you come, such a good show. Would you come visit me in jail? Yeah, of course I come visit you in jail. And and what's the, what length of term mm -hmm. would be an, a, like a non-starter for you? What's the length of term that you would, you would wait for me in jail? You? Yeah. Oh, three months. <laughs> three months? I'm kidding. It would depend on what you did. And, and did you do it? Uh, okay, so just say I, 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 I did it, but it's, uh, but it's only a year. Would you wait? A year? Yeah, would you wait for me? We have to, oh. we have to be monogamous. So you can't go around fucking other bitches. Oh. Yeah, uh, no chance. You can't no, it's fine, yeah, a year. <gasps> Are you going a year for me? Yeah. That's so nice. I'll wait a year for you. Yeah. What year for you? Two years? Uh, Five years. What if I didn't do it? That would be tough. I would want you to have committed that crime. Yeah. 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 Mm. If you didn't do it, it'd be tough. No, that would be hard. 
Yeah. Yeah, that would be really hard. Yeah, I'd be like, oh God, she didn't, this is unfair. Yeah, this But sucks. if he did it, yeah. You'd feel less bad. If they did something really bad, you would yeah. feel less bad. Yeah. Yeah, leaving that person. Yeah. Um, but there's only three episodes out and we're dying and we're counting down the days for the next episode. And it's it's only a six episode series. And I, I, I'm i glad that we go into it knowing that because there's nothing worse than being on like the fifth episode, like thinking and mentally and emotionally preparing. Oh, we got five more. Yeah, you got five more or three more, even for an eight episode series, it's six. Yeah. It's six. Not, I, I feel like they used to make 24 episode seasons. They don't do that anymore. They don't do that anymore. They yeah. don't do that. They're not running ads but anymore. the good news is that you get about a total of six hours of Taron Egerton. True. True. Looking hot as shit. Huh. You said it first. I don't think I said those words. Hot as shit? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You said that you wanted to insert him. Into your life. <laughs> Ugh. Next week's 100 episodes. Thank you for joining us for the journey. We have some fire coming at you next week. Mm -hmm. Throw your alerts on. All the alerts on. Sex tape dropping. Dropping with a new Wild Till Nine sign. Maybe. Fingers Maybe. crossed. Lafia, it's all for you. Good night.